I was born in Finland in 1839 to Anders Lotta Anderson and Eva Carlson. It was tradition, if you were in the Army, to take your commanding officer's name. This is where the middle name of Lotta came from. I was the third child born to this family of three sons and one daughter. People didn't move around much then. My father was born, married, be raised a now. family, and died in the same Please town. Children later. I want you to be good, children. I will. We will see you again. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Russia and Sweden are constantly at war with each other, and Finland, lying between the two countries, was constantly being occupied by one or the other country. At this time, Finland was part of Russia, and my father was in the Finnish army. My father died when I was six years old, leaving my mother a widow with four children. Give you one boot. You work for me one year. I think you got a lot of work to do. We were so very poor. When I was 10 years old, I started working on small farms for my clothing. I worked about one year for a pair of boots. One farmer paid for one boot, and the other paid for the other one. All my clothes were received in this way. So, on, if you're going to work, make sure you earn some money, you're going to have to have this sickle real good and sharp. Now, I'll show you how to sharpen it, see? Back and forth and back and forth and have it nice and sharp. And when you get sharp, then go over there in the field and cut those, that grain down for them. Did a good job, Johan. Did a good job. You're a good servant, Johan. One of the best servants I've got. Thanks. I can reward you in some way. When I was about 16 or 17, I went to work for a high officer in the Russian army whose name was Amanov. Another boy did work similar to mine. Amanov thought so highly of my work that he gave me a suit of clothes. Now let's measure the sleeve. I think we got to take it in just a bit here. On New Year's Eve, this officer gave a big banquet. I let the other boy wear the clothes that Amanov had given me. I must get you good. Now, don't you spill on anybody. I won't. Happy New Year's, everyone. Happy New Year's. Would you like some, sir? Yes, please. Thank you. How about you, ma'am? Yes, thank you. When the boy was waiting on tables, he came to Amanoff's table. Wait a minute, where'd you get that coat from? Johan gave it to me. Let's see, you and Johan in the up room after the banquet. Give me some food. Stand over there, the Johan. The room was the room devoted for punishment of off. servants. Okay. This was the for the least misdemeanor. When we went to the room, the officer took a rawhide whip Get with many strips and knots in the end. With this, he beat the other boy. I was horrified to see this torture being afflicted upon the other boy, and so I determined that he should not do that to me. I ran out of the room and dashed down the stairs as fast as I could go. Where'd he go? There you go. There he is. I got you and thought you would get away, huh? I ran down to the seashore and jumped into a boat and rowed away. Thank you.
I said, oh, I'm going to whip the tar out of him. I'll catch him. You won't forget this with an old serene. I catch him. I'm going to kill that kid. Oh! Oh! When I had rode out a distance, those in pursuit couldn't catch up to me. I was tossed about in the rough sea. The water got worse till my boat swamped. And somehow I managed to make my way to a small island. quite a few small loaves here. Okay. Or this is a nice one. Or how about this big loaf? Yeah, that looks good. Very good. It'll be 35, please. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Can you use a couple small loaves today? One, two, 20, please. Hello, young man. Hello. What is this place called? Uh, this, this is Stockholm, Sweden. Why, you look like you've been on quite a journey. I have. I started out in a rowboat in Finland. Now I got stranded on an island, and a coastal ship picked me up and brought me here. All the way from Finland to Sweden in a rowboat? Why, you're lucky to be alive. Who is that girl over there? Maria. Maria Borkland. Why, she's the girl of my dreams. We soon got married.
Ooh, ooh, watch out. How are you doing today? Here's some fresh bread. The kids wanted to get out. They were really rowdy, so we thought we'd take a walk. Mormon missionaries were preaching in the area where we lived. After hearing their message, we joined the church. People hated us because we joined the church. When our landlord heard about it, he threw us out into the street. We have suffered much for our beliefs. Hey, what's you, going on here? You Mormons, I, I don't, don't like you. You Mormons on my I property. Tell you, I tell you, get out of here. I don't like you. Oh, Johan, what are we going to do now? Well, Johan, what are we going to do now? But it's true. So what else really matters? Another, another.